Wayne, thanks for your time. No problem. Uh, wondering if you could uh, talk a bit about Matai, uh, the decision to to start him tonight, uh, how he did, and whether that was a pre-planned uh, substitution and have done for him. Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> we knew it was going to be t a tough game. Um, so when we lose Steve, obviously you lose the captain. So I wanted a bit more security um, in terms of going with the back three, which I, I very rarely do go with the back three, but I just felt having that bit more security with an extra body back there um, was important for us, especially first half, and then maybe we go and try and win the game second half. Um, and yeah, Matai, he, he's done really well in training. Um, I thought he'd done very well. I thought he was composed um, um, on the ball, made the right decisions at the right times. Um, so it, it, it was not pre-planned, but it was always something which I was thinking about because, especially with him being on a yellow card, um, I wanted to protect him and not let him um, maybe run the risk of getting a red card on his, his first game. So um, for him and Jackson, I thought um, they both done well, but we changed the shape of half-time tactically and. I just felt it was the right time for the two two young lads to, to come out. Excellent. Um, and just your thoughts on David Ochoa's performance against his his old club and, and how important it's going to be um, this off season to to sign him to a contract. Yeah, I thought again he was magnificent. He he made some really important saves um, at good times for us, um, but also his, his game management. Um, his temperament, um, everything was, was first class, so um, I've been delighted with him. Um, and as I said after the last game, I think with every game he's getting better, so um, again, he's, he's, he's helped us get a, a really important point tonight. Great. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Jason Anderson. Hi, Wayne. Thanks Hi. for speaking with us. Um, I, I wanted to ask a little about... Uh, you, you mentioned the switch at halftime uh, to the diamond. Um, there was a point in the second half where it seemed like maybe that was starting to trouble RSO. Um, what did you see out of the group switching that, having gone from a formation you don't really, like you said, you don't really want to play that often, um, into something a little more familiar? Did, did that help, or was it more RSO just sort of losing their way a little bit? No, I think it definitely helped. I think... Um with a back five or three, if you like, um, it's so important that your wing backs are so important. And I felt with the the two wing backs, we were a bit in between, and that's what you can get in um, playing that formation. And um, I felt by changing it to a back four and um, having an extra body um, in in the midfield could could make a difference for us. And I think it did. I think the shape was was good. We knew listen, it's a tough game and. With the, the altitude, the players spoke to the players after the game. They, they found it difficult to breathe at times. So um, we knew it was always going to be a, a tough place to come in and get a win. Um, so to, to come here and, and pick up a point against a, a good team in difficult circumstances um, for us was, was really pleasing. And at the end, we come under a little bit of pressure in um, the last 15, 15 minutes. But I was, I was delighted with the... The character the lad showed in, in defending defending the box, I thought Donovan Pines was excellent, um, and we showed um, a real strong mentality, which um, to keep a clean sheet. So I'm pleased now with two clean sheets in a row um, will help us moving forward. Thanks, Wayne. Next, we'll go to Matt. Wayne, thank you again for taking the time. Um, regarding Matai, it's one thing to uh, show well in training. Uh, another thing entirely to show well in a game. Was it a matter of you thinking he was ready or find, or wanting to find out if he was ready uh, for that challenge? I think I'm a, I'm a man of my word and, and what I said to the players when I come in, which I stick to, is um, if you perform well in training, you'll play. And you'll get your chance to play. So, um, as I said, he's been excellent in training and he deserves to come in. So, yeah, he's 15 and and yeah, I have to protect him. Um, but I just felt he was he was ready to to come in and play. And is he going to play every game? Of course not. He's still a very young young boy. But um, for it, for him, um, for us to see him playing in a an away game, coming over to the West Coast in difficult circumstances, and perform the way he did as a 15 year old, um, he's got a really bright future. So um, I got everything I wanted um, from the 45 minutes he played tonight. Um, wanted to see and. 
Um, I'll keep trying to develop him as a player and and um, hopefully we see more of him, um, obviously um, this season but also in the, the years to come.